to the most dangerous circuit on the season. The electric tension here Chip at Fuji. has so far been the story of two men. Grueling and incredibly dramatic season comes down. And the racing grudge match of the decade. The James hunt Nicky Lauda rivalry is one of the greatest in all of sports. Their story is so remarkable that you can only do it if it was true, because people wouldn't quite believe it. Nicky Lauda and James Hunt side by side, an incredible battle between these two great drivers. The film tracks right up until the end of the 1976 season, where the rivalry comes to a dramatic head. That wind you can feel is me breathing down your neck. Next time I'll have you. One of the things they say about that period, the 70s, in the Formula One world is that's when sex was safe and driving was dangerous. I accept every time I get in my car, there's 20% chance I could die. Nicky approached it as rationally and as professionally as possible. Whereas James Hunt was a flamboyant ladies' man. I've been told you're a bad boy. He lived a rock and roll life, but had the talent to still put himself in the car and go like hell. Talk to me, James. Don't make a stranger of Don't me. Don't go to men who are willing to kill themselves driving in circles looking for normality. One of the fascinating aspects about that story is that fearlessness that these guys had. Like modern knights constantly facing death. I'm quicker than all of you. Fine. And let's race. This will to win was driving both of these guys. And it all kind of came to a head in that 1976 season. They were willing to risk their lives to detain this elite status. They paid a price for it. They paid a price for it. But they defined themselves. I feel responsible for what happened. Trust me, watching you win those races while I was fighting for my life, you were equally responsible for getting me back in the car. It's about friendship, about fear, overcoming fear, about rivals who push each other beyond their limits. I'm world champion and on the verge to become world champion again. I can beat this guy. Trust me. This is a movie I wanted to see and a world that I wanted to occupy and share with audiences. Not only because of the on-track drama, the life-death drama, it's also just the really, truly entertaining nature of these two guys. You know, they're both fascinating, they're funny, they're serious and formidable, and the combination of these guys, their rivalry, their relationships, off the track as well. The way they went about the business of trying to be great was, I thought, emotional, cool, and certainly fascinating. The closer you are to death, the more alive you feel. It's a wonderful way to live. It's the only way to drive.